Good day viewers at home. My name is Omatayo or Denny Tiwai Dunamis and um welcome you back to another episode of State of Things in Nigeria. How things have been affected, the adverse effects of these factors we've started discussing since last week. And um before we continue, I'd like to introduce our guest again, um John Hadewale Akinwumi, a teacher, a lecturer. Uh, from Pretoria and also Mabel, Publicity Secretary of the Nigerian Citizens Association of South Africa. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Again. Um, there have been a lot of things not happening in, in, in Nigeria. The, these things are too deep. It seems to be, uh, when you look at every sphere of influence in Nigeria, it seems there is no place that is healthy. I mean, talk about the academic sector, um, the health sector. Even at the moment, doctors are on strike. And I heard that even um, in du Dubai is calling for... Saudi Arabia. They go uh, Saudi to Arabia. Do yes. recruitment, recruitment in Nigeria. In Nigeria, mm -hmm. imagine. So s nothing seems to be working well. So it's not even only in security. Mm -hmm. Even our, uh, you go to school to study postgraduates for two years, you'll be spending five years. You know, a lot of things are, are, not, are not working because well. Because of all the strikes. Mm, strikes. Even our, our free sense self, we are even losing in sports. Yes. Yes, because <laughs> so, of... What we used to win before, so uh, nothing is seems to be working. Mm. So, um, yes. on this episode, we're going to talk about the solutions. Mm. I mean, solutions to insecurities, solutions to, to to bad governance. What are the things we need to do? No Nigerian in diaspora wants to go back home now. And the thing is that even some of our politicians who leave Nigeria maybe go to I mean, outside. They see how things are being done in Nigeria and um, outside Nigeria. But they get back into the system and then they continue the system. Corruption has now become a norm. Mm -hmm. So um, first of all, I want to ask, uh, what do you think um, can be done? Irrespective of what anybody has said or what has been done in the past, what do you think there are solutions that we can prefer for a better Nigeria? Okay. From me, I think the, the technology should be worked on. Why? Because right from the time of when a cell phone got into, the, into Nigeria, mm -hmm. it was uh, a means of communication and bit by bit we started growing in technology mm -hmm. and uh, you know, our technology has quite, it, it, it has improved now. And I believe that with the improvement of our technology, we can be able to get to the solutions of well, our well, security. I, I, I'm Why sorry. Why do I say so? Okay, okay. Why do I say so? Because if you look at the kidnapping and the, the banditries and everything, it is easy to track out the number of who is calling who 
or how they got them kidnapped. Why? Because you can trace it. It is, it is possible. Why? Because they are using a SIM card where the telecommunication can be able to trace the number. And they already have an N or something. They have an N that you can be able to trace something. So I believe that that is one of the solution that can go on into this technology should be in place and we should be truthful about okay, it. The, the, the fact of the reality is that we do allow such a thing. Of recent, Twitter was banned. I was banned in, in Nigeria. Because it's trackable. It's trackable because Twitter is trackable. It's a means of, of, of uh, it's, it's a platform whereby you can sell your business, you can, you can uh, create uh, content, you can do a lot of things. But yes, still, it's also a means of solution to cry out to the UN. Okay, fine. Now, now that they have, they've banned it. Yeah. Okay, if there are some, uh, let me say, if there are some other technological um, devices or I mean Platform. systems or platforms yeah. that are introduced into the country to curb this, don't you think the government will stand against this? Too? I believe that if we personally start this, I believe that starting this with two, five, down to ten groups, to groups, to local government to from local government to the whole nation i believe if we can cut it bit by bit we, can, we are able to do this why because i believe if one of the richest people in in nigeria can get one drone we can solve the problem of 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 of, of insecurity in nigeria why because i believe if that drone is up there as far as it could reach and track out get into that sambisa forest we can know what is going on get connected with the telecommunication we can see everything that's going on and that is one of the solution mm. that i believe that if technology can be truthfully put in place and honest people reporting starting from your mm. local government from five groups to ten groups i believe it can work um what can you say about that <coughs> i would agree with him i would or oh, i do agree with him Technology is a very important, is going to play a very important role. Let's say the election that our election is coming up in 2023. You know, there's an argument in the Senate if it should be an electronic vote or the normal. You would not believe that they all voted for your normal. Yes, your normal. They refused the electric vote. Why? Because it would be difficult to manipulate, manipulate, manipulate it. it. Yeah. So as much as we are we are we just want the technology to say oh we want the you see those politicians they have the biggest phones the biggest car those are the technologies they want <laughs> not the kind of technology that can fish them out from what Definitely. they're doing you understand that one is one and secondly when uh the insurgents and boko haram and insecurities uh, started it wasn't down to our normal people now during the pandemic many people lost their jobs and now they are saying that most people the militants who kidnaps they don't do anything to them you just negotiate and they pay you make money so now you see that even in the north and south i saw this news the other day they were not fulanis edmen the kidnappers they were not militants they were they were, uh, let me not call tribes they were a particular tribe. They were just normal. Well, yeah. Because they are in, unemployed. So when they are unemployed, like, okay, what should we do? How can we survive? Now let's go into this thing. We will not kill anyone. We will just kidnap us for us. Since it's the normal thing in Nigeria. So mm. first of all, we need to take care of our youth. Not the one to say when we, when we apprehend those uh, mili uh, militants and then we take them for rehabilitation, we give them money. I don't think that is going to help our case. If we can curb unemployment, create inf infrastructures. Infrastructure meaning what? If we have a refinery, do you know how many thousands of youths would be employed? They will be off the street. I spoke last time about uh, armed robbers calling your house to tell you we are coming this night. If you don't remain in your house, we'll come another day and we'll find you will kill all of you. Those people are not militants. They are youths and they are unemployed. And that is the way they see they can make money in Nigeria. And then another thing is that 
I'm not sure why these uh, Fulani headsmen are killing innocent people and calling it something to fight for their gods or fight for the country or something. If you want to fight for the country, how does it concern the normal day-to-day -day people that are just going about their things? If you want to face the government, like now the militants in Wari, they kidnap the people they sent there, like the workers. How does it concern them and they kill them? It doesn't concern them. So I think Nigerians are refusing to face the, the main problem that is affecting us. What is the main problem? Most people can say no. It's the, it's we have to start from the community. The first thing is when um, uh, funds are shared to local government, to state, what happens? It doesn't reach what is, it doesn't get to what it's supposed to do. For example, they allocate these funds for construction of roads or this infrastructure. It doesn't happen. It doesn't work. Why, why didn't it work? Oh, wait, I'm, I'm sorry. So what you're trying to say now is that corruption is at the, at the, at the heart of the problem yes. in Nigeria. Yes. So now, is the corruption wholly at the top or is also at the grassroots? Everywhere. It I think everywhere. it got to a point where Nigerians are like, if you don't tap into this corruption, you'll be <coughs> left behind. So everybody's doing it. I will do it. You give somebody a contract, the government or the people there will take their own from the top. It gets to the, the local government, they take their, sh their share, it gets to the contractor, the contractor takes his share, then they go and buy materials that are below substandard, substandard mm. and then use it. Then tomorrow it falls on innocent people and kill them. Whose problem is it? Is it the person below or the person on top? Even when the money gets to the person, it's not even enough anymore. So will you blame the person giving the contract or you will blame the top? So, so I believe you have to blame up okay, there. Right. So what, what, what do you think is, um, is the solution to um, corruption? I mean, uh, like let's start the, from... There's corruption in everywhere. She, 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 okay, let me not say this. There's corruption in everywhere, in every country. But the solution should be personal first. It's got to be personal first. What do you want to do for your country? Do you want to see your country go, do well? what is your plan for your country because if you are putting that uh, all the bad eggs in one basket there is one good egg in that basket and if we don't check it out we'll pour all the eggs out why because we said well since the first five rows is, is put i believe the old the old row should be spoiled by now so it is inside the 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 the, the individual decision of saying what am I going to do in my neighborhood to keep the security? What am I going to do? What am I contributing to it? Get five to six people say, okay, let's all secure our street. If they say that, they, they, that your street is secured, that's it, the, the street that is secured and the street that is not secure sees the street that is secure. They want to do the same thing. They, they'll ask, okay, what should we do so that our street also can be secured? From one street to another street, you are, you are, you are conquering and bit by bit, You've conquered the local government. You don't need a local government chairman for that. So what you're trying to say is that it is the responsibility of the citizens to First, provide security. No, no. At this point that we are, if we don't provide security on ourselves, it, 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 at this point. There's no government. That means there's no government. There is no, there's no the government. The first thing we are supposed to take care of is ourselves. That's what... And yeah. our properties, because... If we say that we are waiting for the people on the top to do anything, it's just going to be escalated. That means there are no people at the top. We boil back to okay, Elsa. There are people at the top, yes, <laughs> but what do we do to our own neighborhood first? What yeah. is the first thing that we do? Okay. We cry out to the local government chairman. The local government chairman gives us a promise that he's going to come mm -hmm. this day, that day. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me give an example of the loitering of, of uh, the, the water cans and everything. On the street. Yes, on the street. You drop, you, you, you eat something, you drop, you eat something, you drop. That doesn't need the local government. It needs, it needs an individual responsibility. Let me tell you why it needs the local government. Okay. Do you remember uh, Bari time, the first time he came in? You can't see anybody put... There's, there's army everywhere. I'm not saying uh, mil uh, military rule is right, but there's something we call enforcement 
You see, the police force is part of the government. Then if, if there is enforcement, it's because there is no rule of law anyway. Everybody just does do their thing. If it is like that, how that they want. the militaries or the military, uh, the, 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 the military forces are on the road forcing people not to drop because they are scared there that is, the military There is something is going we do to... every Saturday in Nigeria. What is it called again? Environmental. The, the, the environmental how, sanitation. How is it enforced? You think, I mean, I would just wake up, I want to go and clean my streets. But that, that means we're yeah. not a democratic country uh, then. We are not, not. Because if we are a democratic country, we are, we, okay, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are in South Africa right now, and we are not seeing how he's telling us not to do right or do wrong on the street. We know that we are not supposed to drop this on the street. We are not supposed to do this. Same thing should be a should be an initiative for in People Nigeria. People still drop things on the street. There is what we call the municipality. Every day, every, there's dustbin on the road okay. where you put um, Nigeria. Where did you say dustbin? Where it is not a road you that comes to clean it. See, it we is put dustbin in that our car in Nigeria. It. They will they will charge you for putting they the dustbin in your car. They don't fly down. You want to fly down? <laughs> They will charge you for putting okay, dust okay. in your car. We, we need to, me, I'm just saying we that need to if we put in a, militant, uh, a military force I'm on not the saying put in military be, force. So I'm just yeah. saying it has to be enforced by a body or something. You can't leave people just doing their things. It, uh, okay, 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 okay. It will work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, viewers at home, um, it's becoming a, a heated debate now. <laughs> But then we have to take a break and let's see what people are saying to these on the streets. I know there are a lot of um, um, lamentations that will be going on on the streets. So see you shortly after the break. We have a vision. like to go home based on the state of things in Nigeria now? Mm -hmm. I would say no. Practically no. Why? Because things we see, especially on social media, you know now we are in the world of social media, when you get to know things that happen near and far of you. So things we see on social media based on security in Nigeria, no. I wouldn't want to go back home, especially now. Do you do you believe that um, some people want to Islamize Islamize Nigeria? Is it is it true? Do you believe in the in their agenda that they want to Islamize Nigeria? Mm, to my own opinion, I would say yes. I would say yes because I think um, basically Nigeria as a whole, I think the northern parts. You know there are Muslims there. I think they only want Nigeria to be revolved around them. Things about them alone. Without thinking of the other parts of Nigeria. So I would say yes. Okay. So what do you think is the solution to the state of things in Nigeria? Do you think there's hope for Nigeria? The only hope we have right now is God. Because I think our government, they can do it, but they are not ready to do it. To my own opinion. They are not ready to do it. So what, uh, what can you say? I mean, do you, do you have any word of encouragement for Nigerians in Nigeria? We've been encouraging Nigerians since even before our birth. So I don't think they are even ready to take any, even if there is adv any advice that we want to give or we are ready to give. I don't think they want to take anything. So I would say I don't want to waste my saliva or say anything. 
because they know what, what they are doing and they know the right things to do. They just refuse to do them. That's all. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I call it, sir. Yes, sir. I want to share in Nigeria currently. Kini opinion yi ni pa se robia ki nigeria pin ni abi e robia se hope wa fun nigeria as as a nation well uh ege bi emi ti mu te wa ba ti mu soro lowo lo e eh ta ba ni paro fun rawa ko si nkan to da julo bi pe ki kaluku je oroko baba e ki olomun ko do mu baba e ati omun ye egbe because Bala je ma sheru fulani Bala je ma sheru Ausa nkan to kan dun yan ni pe awon to je olori wa nile Yoruba awon ta gege bi baba fun wa in fact mi mo ruko tun mo le pe won ji pe ko lorun ko dariji won nitori pe imo ta re ni nikan ko le 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 gbade bi kokan ba mu ba mu ni mo yo la won se ko de le ran wa lowo because ti taba continue lati ma lati ma tele won nigeria a le a le ran fa ni nkan kon be because gbogbo awon to wa ni eyin odi ton pa ru pe diaspora diaspora me le fe lo si nigeria nsin eru nba people lati lo si le ni n to dara ju ni pe ki kaluku ju oruko baba e ka wu sa lo laye won ki yibo lo ki yoba na de lo pa ki lo ki lo fata yin seru ausa ko ye ka ma seru ausa na o ohun ni yen sin awa yoba enu wa oko si bi kan olorun gbe eyan kan dide fun wa igboho osha e kun baba dami ah no still no eh atun awa yoba na la tun so trash ni pa ogbe ni yen ki lo de ta lo jade inu awon to kawe ton ka we ton ka we ton gboye ton se gba ton sha wo ta lo jade ta lo laya to jade ogbe ni nde jade o ni iya o ohun ko ni so pe iya o ni ko ni ko ni iya o ja won family ohun mo na o ni iya o gboro jomo yoba mo still no ekun to popolopo nsun kiri ni pe ko ka we en ti o ka we se yin se awon to ka we nko kila anfani teni lara won so awa yoba ko lorun ko sha nu fun wa ni enu wa oko si bi kan enu wa oko at all amo n to dara ju fun wa ni pe ka ti ogbe ni yen leyin because olorun tin ti leyin sunday igboho ekun baba da mi lola okunrin ni o a kin okunrin ni ki olorun o mi to ke wa yen o da mi logic olorun de ma mu jade bo se wa ni mi to wa yen hmm olorun ma fa ye gba de bi pe o ma kojo ya ti mu awon satani awon awon olubi eniyan to ba ja to ba di pe o ba jade ngba na ma mo pe olorun wa nu aye ogbe ni eni to olorun pe ni kokun se ko ma so n gbogbo every time pe oro n da bi oro farawa ti mose ni ko le se ko ma ko ti bible ko le se ko ma ko si esin to to ko rira so meanwhile ki lo se wa da o le bara wa se ka fe fe kon se ka duro lori aye wa mo tin soro ju e ma bi nu eh eh shansa so we are so grateful for kati kan keke te to so you know only be to made yeah thank you so much sir um how are you doing i'm good yeah we are trying to seek the opinions of nigerians in diaspora okay concerning the state of things in nigeria at the moment because okay. we know that uh, nobody is happy with how things are going in nigeria yeah. and um we want to know what is your opinion what, what do you feel about what is happening in nigeria at the moment hmm. it's very heartbreaking but what I felt is we need a good security. That's the first thing in Nigeria, a good security. Because when we watch them, we feel, we, we, we feel their pains every time. So please, if they can just maintain the security, I think our lives will be better. And so um, do you think there is hope for Nigeria as a nation? Do you, do you think division is the answer to Nigerians? No, problems? division is a no-no for me. And I know there is hope because we, we toddlers, I, I, I'll, call, <laughs> I'll call our sisters that we toddlers growing up will make it a better country. Do you think uh, that can be possible? Because even before we were born, the same set of people that are ruling, hmm. I see the same people ruling. So do you think there could be hope yeah. like that for us? Do you think they, they will make the youths 
get there. By God's grace. I believe, I, I believe in God anyways. But I know if the youth should be there, we don't know what they have in mind anyways because we've not seen them in action also. We're just seeing these old, old ones in action. But I believe it, if, if they could give the youth a chance, Nigeria would be a better place. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. We have the vision with hope of what can be. Our dreams are lofty, our future. Welcome back from the break. If you are just joining us, um, we are here, Nigerian Houston Diaspora, discussing the state of things in the country and um, how solutions can be preferred for a better nation, for a better Nigeria. We are 61 years and it seems um, there seems to be no way, no destination. Where are we heading to? A lot of things have been happening in the country and to a point that one of my uh, mothers was telling me, she said each time she thinks about the things happening in Nigeria, she's in Nigeria, she's in Lagos, she said it affects her health. So she has just decided to, you know, just face her children, face uh, her grandchildren, and if anything wants to happen, let it happen. So um, I know anybody could have been like, well, you guys have come to talk about Nigeria again. See, forget Nigeria, there's no more nation called Nigeria or something, but then there are some of us who still believe that there's hope for the country, there's still hope for a tree, even if it is called down. At the same of what I do, it is proud again. So I want us to talk about um, the leadership in Nigeria. Mm. Uh, because um, uh, Maxwell said something. He said, um, everything rises and falls on leadership. Mm. You understand? And I think before the break, you were talking about, you were talking from the, um, yes. what was talking, uh, it happening is at the top? from our leaders. You were talking about the grassroots. Yeah, because we have to pick it up. Well, the people okay. who put them out there. So if we're uh, putting them out there, if the honesty is not from our side up there, if we have taken the five naira, the 1,000 naira, the 5,000 naira, then truthfully, we are saying that, okay, it's all man for himself and it's actually hard to start from us okay okay um remember yeah, start from uh, us. remember is it the leadership or the system the leadership is the system okay um let's hear from you because if someone comes to me and says nigeria is going to be better starting from you i'm going to ask you how and then you're going to tell me no as a citizen like, so we we're talking to someone and I'm like, what do you do on your personal capability for the country? Please, can I build road? <laughs> can I provide employment? True, true. Uh, there, there, is, there are some set of people that they just sit, they don't even know what to do at all. And there are budgets that has been set for some, for particular uh, expenditure in Nigeria. Employment. Uh, uh, building of roads. You will see a road that has been there for 10 years. They have been constructing that road. Every, every tenor, they allocate budget to that same road. And you are telling me that it starts from the people. People how? I don't have a job. And somebody calls me, okay, do this. It's, it's a crime or do that. And I'm going to say no because I just like to die. I like to starve and die. It's, it's, it's going to be very difficult for the people down there when the government cannot carry out their job. You see uh, politicians taking lots of money from the central bank, driving, there's a video on it, driving to a particular building to share money. While the citizens are languishing, you should, if you should watch some Nigerians. It's like 
Even Somalians, Somalians are better than them. And you're in a country where the economy is great. You see, Nigeria, I think there's extreme uh, 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 wealth and extreme poverty because the government has just refused to get down to the, the root. And also, we always say that we can't always blame uh, the president because he already allocated funds. What are you as a president when you allocate funds? You can say, okay, we have allocated so, 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 and so for this. Let us go and check that project. Have they done it? How far has it gone? When you check and say it has not been done, you remove the person from the position because he's not able to do his job. Okay. Um, so it starts from the top. If I have a company, I'm the boss. You are telling me my company is going to fail because of my workers. I will sack the workers now. True. So True. it is the responsibility of the government and the people in authority to make sure that the citizens are doing what they're supposed to do. Whether by force or by any other way, there must be rule of law that is being enforced in a country, no matter where it is. I cannot give any blame to anyone in Nigeria. Increase in unemployment. Why is it like that? Now they, now they brought this thing to say, during the last year, the COVID, to say, okay, palliative. What happened to the palliatives? <laughs> Are you going to say it's me that don't have food to eat, that I'm at home? They say, don't go to work. I don't have money, and then I will help Nigeria. In what way? When I die of, of hunger? That's, it doesn't concern the citizen. I think it starts from the top. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, yeah, I agree, and truly, 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 if, if we see this, um, uh, uh, with the selling of votes and, and the, the, the implementation of the NIN now, and the election, the upcoming election that's going to be coming up on the 20, 2023 election, uh, the presidential election and, the, uh, and other elections that are going to be coming up. With that, I still believe that if we really want it to start from the top to the bottom, we have to speak now as a people. Because if we are saying we are one Nigerian, and we have people this is the reason why i'm saying it also has to start i i i, I agree on the fact that yes we can I, i'm not the one who needs to do the road i'm not the one who needs to create job but with what i have as a qualification and i know that i can do this and do this and do this what am i able to do in my own space in my own space and secondly with the power of vote i still strongly believe in the power of vote because if if, if, if we don't vote, I can see you being a governor or a president in a seat. Thank you. I can see you being a governor or a president in a seat if I don't vote. So it still boils down to who am I going to be voting for? Am I truly going to be voting for this person because he's going to honestly listen to the cry of the people? Or he's just going to do it because he has given me 50,000 naira to keep my mouth shut. It's, it's about you and your family. Once you and your family are, are, are okay, forget about the rest of the people. So this is this can bring solution. This can bring solution at all. So right now, one of the solutions, she has said it partly is the uh, the presidency has to give the order to the local government. They have to check out if they are not doing what they're supposed to do. They should be out. Secondly, the people also are involved. Why? Because their vote will always speak. Yes. That's what I wanted to speak on. Now, during election, you see the youths who are supposed to organize themselves to go and vote. The youths are the biggest population in Nigeria. You know what they do? They form a band to carry boxes, kill themselves, fight, and get paid $4,000. For 4000 4, And then that is when, no this, when these people enter position, they are not going to call you to come and sit around their big table. You are just... A hoodlum. It's the old people that still sit around the And then also, Nigerians feel that uh, because when we vote for this person, they don't do what we want them to do. And then you sit down and say, I'm not going to vote. If you don't vote, votes will still come. And the people that you, you don't want to vote for, they are the ones still going to win. And you are still going to suffer for another four years. So the best solution, apart from the government, 
And also, I think Nigeria has to know that they have the right to remove anybody from you. the seat. If, they are, you. if you're not doing well, if Nigeria comes out and I say, hey, and really step we protest, down. If we come out and step protest, down. Uh, uh, you are not doing Nigerians. anything for us. Get I, out. I want to come back home. I want to come back home. Because there's no how I can live all my life in South Africa. I want to come back home, but Jacob, how will so I come back go? home? How will I come back to a place that is not safe? I have what it takes to create job, uh, uh, opportunities. With, with job mm. opportunities. I've got the skills. Why? I learned them here in South Africa. But is it going to be safe for me to come back home? No. No. Why? Because we ourselves, we are not speaking with our vote. Okay. Um, I, I also think that... Um, you know, one major problem in the Nigerian um, nation are the systems. Though so you said the leadership makes up the, the system, but we need to also influence the mindset of the Nigerian. You understand what I'm saying? Because when people leave the, the nation and come back, you know, when people leave, the Nigerians leave Nigeria, go outside to develop countries, they follow the rules and the regulations. Of they follow place. the systems of yeah. that nation. Yeah. When they get back to con to the country, they they continue or they start behaving again like a Nigerian. Who enforces the system? So I uh, I I want to believe now that probably our hope is on 2023 <laughs> because yeah. I, I, yeah, 2023 starts yeah, from now. Because I'm not God sure. I'm not sure that anything. I, I I'm not I'm not trying to be pessimistic, but I'm not sure that anything good. No, can still happen between now and and twenty twenty three. I believe it can happen when we start getting our energy. Good, NIL like NIL. them trying to do something. Because because oh, the, the, the oh, leadership, the, 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 the government at the moment, the government doesn't look like a government that wants to prefer any solution. Twenty twenty three, I can promise you, you will see politicians going to do roads. Promising. Before 2023, 2021. Just for election. Let's wait for 2022. 2022 is just, just here. Yeah. They will start doing the roads. Yeah. They will start giving funds. They will start printing shirts. And sharing, rice, palliative sharing the palliative they that kept we're for supposed themselves. to receive. The re relief <laughs> fund that we're supposed <laughs> to receive during the time of COVID-19. They will, share they will start to sharing us. it at that point. Printing their shirts, printing their name on it. Why? Because they believe that they are about to buy those people who need to give them their votes. Wise. So we are the people who put them there. So that is why it is very necessary. We have youths that, that came out for the protest for answers. Have you actually have a party now? Who is the person that you want to see as being Remember president? there's rigging though. Nothing. There's rigging. Do you know what is rigging? <laughs> I um, know what rigging is. I'm telling you. Now power past power. You see, when there is rigging like this, if you if you don't have people that are there that can you know hustle around, takes the take the youth to do whatever they want to do, Nigeria will keep wallowing in whatever they are wallowing because the wrong people will keep entering inside. So the thing, what I'm saying is that the same thing that happened in Ensas, if it doesn't come up again, I don't think Nigeria can go anywhere. I'm telling you, that's the only so, thing so, that can happen. So you, you think there must be another brief The people protest. has to take. This into their hands now and say we are tired. We they are to tired. Speak and speak with solutions. Okay, okay. Um, thank you so much, um, John. Thank you so much, Mabel. You've all spoken right in the in your lamentations and your grievances. You've rendered solutions in one way or the other. Uh, I know uh, things could be very complicated uh, when you are dealing with Nigeria because you know every sector is affected. Every sector is affected, and. Um, I would have given you some opportunities, uh, maybe like a few seconds to wrap up what you said, but then because of our time, I will not be able to do that. And I will do it for you. Um, we've spoken about the, the causes, the effects, and all the solutions and of, of the issues in Nigeria. We've talked about you know, technology, how technology can be um, explored, can be used to be able to reduce the crime rates and everything. We talked about the employment, unemployment, our refineries can be built. We talked about um, mind control systems, enforcing laws, and um, these are things that we know, but then nobody is doing them. Mm. So we hope that um, from now, maybe t from to 2023, um, a crazy or a mad man can arise in Nigeria who's going to 
set things right like uh, one Ghanaian president did out uh, all or Thomas Sankara did I mean in um, I mean so many years back so in Burkina Faso so we we, we, we hope that we just need one, one man person. and that man will not be a normal man I'm telling because you it will take it will take an abnormal man to be able to correct things in you. Nigeria so you. that's what I'm still saying we are optimistic that Nigeria will be great again we are optimistic yeah. and we are hopeful yeah. that Nigeria will be better I mean we'll go back to how it was in the in the 60s where we just took a happy day, uh, independence Nigeria is 61 years happy birthday Nigeria and happy birthday we believe Nigeria. that things are gonna be better again okay. thank you so much for uh, uh, thank honoring so much, our invitation thank you, so thank, you. Thank, thank you member for honoring our invitation also and it's a great we privilege. hope that this time next year god's sparing our lives if christ has not come um, we'll be giving testimonies about nigeria <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> Viewers at home, I, I hope you've enjoyed us for the past um, two episodes that we've done. And um, keep being prayerful for Nigeria. Don't lose hope. If you should lose hope, if everybody loses hope, nothing's going to happen in that nation. And Nigerians in diaspora, you can always think of going back to the country to invest something. Uh, don't be scared. At least your home is still your home. Home is still home no matter what. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we hope that you've gotten one or two things. And see you when next we appear here. Bye. We are Nigerians. We are one people.